Hey guys, thanks so much for coming back. So, I'm back. I'm going to be doing another tray because um, a few videos ago, I made these really pretty um, tic-tac-toe boards, but I was playing around with some resin pigment and I didn't mix it with the resin. So, the tops are still, they're still a bit sticky. So, I didn't want these to go to waste, so I figured that I would um, turn them into a tray. Alright, so I've got my Floetrol. This is a 100 milliliter plastic cup, and I have about 20 milliliters of Floetrol. And I'm going to add about 40 milli, not 40, sorry. 60 milliliters of the black so I'm going up to the 80 line I'll do just like the last video I'll start painting this but to spare you guys some of that pain of watching me paint I will uh, <laughs> I will fast forward through and cut out a lot of the painting also uh, this tray is already sanded and I've already wiped it down to make sure there's no dust or anything in it so um, that is another thing and this tray is from the same set as the tray in the last video it's just a different size so I believe I linked that set of trays in the last video if I didn't I'll link them in this one um, I just got them from Amazon and it's a set of nesting trays but I like it because there's different sizes so sometimes I'll feel like doing a smaller tray and sometimes I'll feel like doing a bigger tray and today we're doing this bigger tray so it is going to be something um just looking at this i think i may need to do two coats of the black too just fyi all right guys so um i have the whole tray painted i did the inside first and then i flipped it and did the outside I am going to let this dry, um, depending on how deep the black looks once it's done. I may add one more coat of black all the way around, and then I'll, um, of course, let that dry, and then that's when we'll start putting in the resin and the um, tic-tac-toe board in pieces. But for now, that is it, and I will see you guys in just a second <laughs> which will probably be the next day for me but you get what I mean hey guys so <laughs> you might not be able to hear me um, I actually lost my voice so I'm going to do most of the rest of the video not talking I have this box of a lot of different like bottom type things and it has these black ones and I'm going to put them on the bottom of this tray um, I've also sprayed the whole tray with my Krylon um, triple <laughs> it's hard to think um, so I've sprayed the whole tray with my triple thick crystal clear glaze from Krylon so it is nice and shiny but not too shiny I did it similar to the last tray where I didn't use too many coats of paint and that way you can still see the grain of the wood and it's just it's really pretty if you can see that it's so pretty I've only sprayed the outside by the way so yes so yeah let me go ahead and put these bottoms on
All right, so this is the final result. The tray is beautiful. It came out really well. It's, it's shiny and sparkly, everything that I love. <laughs> um, I'm actually considering keeping it because I really like how it came out. Um, there's two things. The O's are obviously black, so it's a little hard to see them, but I mean, they're still visible on the tray. And then there are two spots where it looks kind of foggy, and that's just where the resin didn't quite spread underneath the game boards. But I still think it looks really beautiful, and hopefully you guys also enjoyed uh, the video. If you like it, don't forget to like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Bye, guys.